Hello, my friends. His apologies, Lucas Abbott. My friends, I don't know about you, but I feel the Lord moving right now. And I know that the Spirit of the Lord is here because it says in the book of Matthew that where two or three are gathered, there I will surely be. So I know that the Lord is going to hear us when we pray this prayer of healing. My friends, I have seen many instances just in this last week of people who desperately need healing physically, my friends, people who are sick, people who are having complications with their pregnancy, people who are having uh, their bones break, people who are recovering from infections in the hospital. My friends, there is so many broken things in this world and they attach themselves to us. But my friends, the Lord is the healer. For Jesus gave sight to the blind. He gave hearing to the deaf. He literally rose the dead. So my friends, if the Lord says that it is so, it is so. And my friends, when we pray this prayer of healing, we will find the redemption and let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So my friends, we're going to be praying for healing of all things that are in your life, my friends, whether it be sickness, whether it be brokenness, whether it be brokenness in the bones, in the heart, in the mind, whatever it is, my friends, we're going to be praying a powerful prayer of healing and we are going to be bringing down the Lord's power and authority that he has given us in his words over you. So my friends, you will begin seeing miracle signs and wonders and you will begin seeing the Lord fill you from the inside out for the Lord is the physician of physicians. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and there is none like him. So my friends, first thing that I want you to do, go someplace where you can be alone with the Lord. Second thing, invite him in, my friends. This modern medicine and cast, they work, they work from the outside in, my friends, and that's why it takes so long. But my friends, when the Lord fills you with his Holy Spirit, there is a rebirth and there is a restoration from the inside out that transcends all sickness and all brokenness. So invite the Lord in and let him do this for you and work from the inside out. Third thing, my friends, come into agreement with me either in your head, in your heart, write it down in the comments because there is so much power and agreement. We will begin to see miracle signs and wonders that the Lord has offered us. We are going to begin by lifting up the name of the Lord. Let's begin. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord who was and is and is to come, my Father. My Father, we come to you today for my dear brother, my dear sister, for healing. God, we know that we do not have to be specific, nor do we want to be, Father God, for it says in your word, that just as the heavens are above the earth, so are your ways above our ways, and so are your thoughts above our thoughts. So, Father, we know that we can come to you with a request for healing, either in something that we know or something that we don't know. And, Father God, you know exactly what our needs are. And so, Father, we come to you just for healing, whether it be something that my dear brother, my dear sister are going through, that they are very aware it needs healing, and whether it's something that Perhaps they don't even know. They can't even see. We are praying for that as well. For this rejuvenation to come over them, Father. For you to fill them with your Holy Spirit and to restore them in places that they didn't even know needed restoration. To rebuild their mind. To take away all of the things, the idolatry, the addictions, things in their mind, the anxieties, the stress, things in their body, the sickness, the infections, things in their bones, the brokenness, the brittleness, things in Whatever it is, Father God, we know that we can come to you, ask for healing, and that you are the Lord who heals. So we pray these things, and we speak this over my dear brother, my dear sister, that right now they be healed from the inside out. For we know that your ways transcend all medicine, your ways transcend all surgical procedures, your ways transcend everything, Father God. For you are the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Healer of Healers, the Alpha, the Omega, the Beginning and the End. So we pray for deliverance for my dear brother and my dear sister. And we pray, Father, that if it is enemy influence over them that is making them sick, that this be broken in Jesus' name. Enemy, you have no place in the life and the body and the mind and the soul, the spirit, my dear brother and my dear sister. And you must be gone. For it says in God's word. That when we call and we pray, God comes running. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom from enemy influence. So we pray these things in Jesus' name, that if it is enemy influence, if it is witchcraft, whatever it is, let it be broken in Jesus' name and let the chains fall down around my dear brother, my dear sister, so that they may experience freedom, freedom and healing and restoration. Father, we pray that if they are broken in some way, that just as a bone is mended back together, it is not mended the same, but it is made stronger. We pray for my dear brother, my dear sister, whatever it is that they're going through, that they not only be mended back together, but they be made stronger for it, Father. We pray these things in Jesus' precious and heavenly name, Father. Come down, God. Come down, God. Open doors. Let it rain, God, in the life of my dear brother, my dear sister. Break every chain, God, that is holding them back. Break every chain of sickness. Break every chain of sickness in the mind, the heart, the body, the soul. 
Break anything that it is, Father. Break any clouds that the enemy has put over their head to stop their blessings, to make them feel like this, Father God. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Enemy, you have no power in the life of my dear brother and my dear sister, and we pray for your powerful restoration. We speak this in the power and authority you have given us in your words, Father. We speak this, that just as Jesus healed the blind, he caused them to see. Just as Jesus healed the deaf, he caused them to hear. Just as Jesus looked at a man who was dead and said, Death, you have no power here, and raise the man from the dead. We know, Father God, that you can do anything. So we pray that you touch my dear brother, my dear sister, so that they may experience the same thing and go from glory to glory, just as Lazarus did, just as all of the lepers did in the Bible. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, come into agreement, and we know that you can hear us, Father God, for it says in your word where two or three are gathered in your name. And Father God, here we are. Here we are, Father. And we are praying this and speaking this into life, Father. We know that it says all it takes is faith the size of a mustard seed to move mountains. And we are moving mountains right now with our words, Father, with our prayers right now, Father, speaking this out over the life of my dear brother, my dear sister, whatever it is, wherever they are, and whatever you want to do, God. We know that you bring healing restoration where the Spirit of the Lord is. There is freedom, and there is freedom from anything that haunts them, that keeps them down, that makes them sick, and that is causing them to not inherit the blessings that you want for them. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name. We speak this out into life over my dear brother, my dear sister, enemy be gone. You have lost spirit, Holy Spirit, come down and heal my dear brother, my dear sister, so that they can return to their lives and go from glory to glory. We believe this, Father God, for we have spoken this out. We know that you want to give it to my brother, my sister, and we know that it has already happened. So we raise a hallelujah for who the Son set free is free indeed, and let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We are saying so right now, God. We pray these things in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. My friends, that was a high-powered prayer because I believe and I know like I know like I know that the Lord has heard us and the Lord wants to bless you. The Lord wants to heal you. So my friends, pray this prayer as many times as you need to and you will begin seeing the miracle signs and wonders. Invite the Lord in. Let him heal from the inside out. And my friends, when the Lord fills you, he is at maximum occupancy in your life. There is no more room for enemy influence. There is no more room for sickness. There is no more room for brokenness, my friends. When the Spirit of the Lord comes in you, he heals you. The chains fall off of your life. The strongholds fall down. The the enemy has built and all of the sickness must leave, my friends. Pray this prayer with me as many times as you need to, and you will begin seeing the Lord move in your life. My friends, if you would like to send me a personal prayer request, the link is in the description. Please feel free to do so. And until next time, my friends, be well.